Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome to the Piper Report. Jason Chavitz, Chavitz is expected to announce early resignation from Congress. This I am happy with. He was responsible, or he was implicit, in the cover-up of Extortion 17, which was a helicopter full of Navy SEALs that were shot down, I believe in Afghanistan, whose people died, and who the Obama administration and Chavitz knew about and covered it up. I have a couple of videos on my channel that go over it. One of them is investigative journalist Sarah Carter. She's actually interviews a whistleblower that was on the helicopter that night. It's just, I'm glad because I used to have a lot of respect for this man. I thought he had a lot of integrity, but as time went on and you realize he's just another shill in Congress, just another person who cares more about power and wealth and affluence more than the livelihood of our U.S. soldiers. So it is kind of sad. So this is a relief. This is a plus. I'm happy he is stepping down. Hopefully it's sooner than later and we can move on from there. And hopefully, hopefully, eventually, we can get the word out that those brave Americans who died, those Navy SEALs who died in a helicopter crash, died because of ignorance from our government. Because the government didn't want to save them. They didn't want the people in the helicopter to shoot at the hostiles that were attacking our Navy SEALs. They let them die. And they knew they were going to die. And they let it happen anyways. Hopefully, this scandal gets bigger and bigger. And hopefully, people like Chavitz and Obama and whoever else was implicit in the cover-up gets exposed for the type of, I guess you could say, nefarious behavior they do, they have. Because this is bad. This is bad. These are your soldiers who fight for this country and you ignore them and you let them die with no, with no recourse, with no way to actually give them any type of honor for their death. And I'm done.